You have an ST16S that I'm going to do a reset on and install the software for the Unique H+. I've already extracted the firmware that we need for the controller and I've got it in this file. There's three files so I'm going to select all three files and I'm going to send those to the SD card. So we'll send to the USB drive which has the SD card in it. I'm going to say yes to the warning. Yes again. And we'll say yes to the next warning. Okay, all three files have been copied to the SD card. We we'll eject the SD card. This is the ST16S that we're going to install software on for the H+. So we're going to go to the Android screen. Okay, we're in the Android menu. So we'll go to Settings. See if we can get this to focus. We'll go down to Backup and Reset right here then we're going to do a factory data reset and it's we'll select reset tablet erase everything it's going to power off now I have the SD card installed in this ST16 that I copied those files to and so as it reboots it's going to read it's going to read that file it's going to read those files and it's going to reinstall the software once it reboots then we'll install the the app for flight mode Okay, it says controller upgrading. It powered off. It's rebooting now. Now it's installing the system update in the Android. Okay, it's rebooted into the Android menu. Say OK. Say OK again. Now we're going to go to File Manager. We'll go to the directory. And over on the left side is the icon for the SD card. We'll select the SD card. The bottom file says Unique App APK. That's the uh, that's the flight mode app that we want to install. So we'll select the app. It says the install is blocked, so we need to go to the settings. We'll select Unknown Sources. Say OK. Then we'll go back. Select the app again and we'll say next, next, and install. So the Flight Mode 2 app is currently installing. Now it says it's installed, so we'll open it. 
and there's the app and it shows the current version move that over a little bit current version is dated March 12th 2019 that's that's uh, that would be version 822 so we're all set to bind it to the aircraft.